The iconic character of Fonz may be what Henry Winkler is most known for, but his talent as an actor has earned him acclaim among the most talented performers of his generation. But the actor has divulged his greatest remorse, emphasizing that even the most exceptional among us are not immune to errors. Join Facts First as we present Henry Winkler opens up about his most painful regret. The talented Henry Franklin Winkler is an actor, comedian, author, producer, and director. Born October 30, 1945, he's established a reputation for himself in various fields of the entertainment industry. In his early years, he faced academic challenges and was subjected to harsh criticism for his struggles. Immersed in the world of theater, he honed his craft at two prestigious institutions, Emerson College and the Yale School of Drama. This passion led him to spend a year and a half with the renowned Yale Repertory Theater where he refined his skills. He also graced the stage in various regional productions and took on commercial projects. His talent didn't go unnoticed, and he landed roles in two independent films. In the fall of 73, he embarked on a thrilling journey to California, sponsored by his hard-earned savings. Fortunately, he landed a spot on the Mary Tyler Moore Show, albeit in a minor role. He embarked on his second week with a thrilling audition for the iconic role of Arthur Herbert Fonzarelli, famously known as the Fonz or Fonzie, in a fresh new series called Happy Days. Despite facing tough competition from established actors like Mickey Dolenz of The Monkees, this unknown talent was called back in for a second audition in full costume. It was a make-or-break moment that would determine his fate in the industry. Memories flood back as he reminisces about the time they transformed him by plucking his unibrow, slicking his hair into a stylish DA, and dressing him in a classic white t-shirt and jeans. He also remembers the moment when he made the conscious decision to alter his vocal tone, unleashing a whole new persona within himself. He delivered six lines with a bang, tossed his script up in the air, and made a dramatic exit. On this special day, fate had a surprise in store, a role offer he couldn't resist. But he had one condition, the character's true identity must be revealed when he takes off his jacket. The producers agreed and the stage was set for a thrilling performance. For over a decade, Winkler graced our screens as the beloved character on Happy Days. Finding Fame as the Fonz Did you know the Fonz was not originally intended to be a main character? He was inspired by a real-life tough guy from the Bronx that show creator Gary Marshall knew. The Fonz was meant to provide a contrasting personality to the main protagonist, Richie Cunningham, played by Ron Howard. The debut of the show was forever changed by Henry Winkler's exceptional portrayal of the character, which added a unique twist to the role. Winkler made a promise to himself he'd never succumb to the cliches of similar roles, like combing his hair, chewing gum, or keeping a box of cigarettes in his sleeve. By the time December 1974 rolled around and the second season was in full swing, the Fonz had become a beloved character among fans. He even stole the spotlight in the episode Guess Who's Coming to Christmas. As the third season rolled in, the spotlight shifted from Richie to Fonz, ultimately crowning Winkler as the undisputed star of the show. In 2018, Winkler spilled the beans in a heart-to-heart -heart he had with Ron Howard regarding the shifting dynamics of their relationship. Howard made it crystal clear he harbored no resentment towards Winkler, acknowledging he was simply doing his best for the show. Despite the changes, the two remained close friends. Howard expressed his heartfelt appreciation for Winkler's unwavering support once again in 2021, referring to him as a big brother figure who's been a constant source of guidance and inspiration. Winkler's legendary depiction of the Fonz has earned him a plethora of well-deserved accolades. In 1980, he donated one of Fonzie's leather jackets to the National Museum of American History. In 81, Winkler's star was unveiled on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, cementing his place in entertainment history. And in 2008, a bronze statue of the Fonz was revealed along Milwaukee's Riverwalk, honoring the iconic character that captured the hearts of millions. After Happy Days the end of Happy Days in 1984 marked a challenging time for Winkler, as he found himself typecast. In the midst of career aspirations, he found himself in a perplexing situation. He yearned to be a working actor, but the mental anguish he experienced was unbearable. Lost and without direction, he drifted aimlessly. With an entrepreneurial spirit, he launched Fair Dinkum Productions, 
and its many spin-offs. The name he picked was a tribute to the land down under, where fair dinkum is a widely used term that conveys a sense of straightforwardness, integrity, and authenticity. In 1987, he made a groundbreaking move by securing a feature film and development deal with Paramount Pictures. In 1985, Winkler took on the roles of director and executive producer for All the Kids Do It, a CBS school break special featuring the beloved Scott Baio. The show was a smash success, earning Winkler a daytime Emmy for Outstanding Children's Special and a nomination for Outstanding Directing in Children's Programming. He also played a pivotal role in the creation of the iconic MacGyver TV series and lent his expertise to other popular shows like Sightings and The Hollywood Squares. He also directed the movies Memories of Me and Cop and a Half. In 2003, he channeled his personal experience with dyslexia during his younger years and collaborated with children's book author Lynn Oliver to create the captivating Hank Zipser series for kids. Collaborating with Oliver, Winkler brought to life the beloved BBC adaptation of Hank Zipser, where he even made a cameo as the charming Mr. Rock. The dynamic duo gifted us with the unforgettable Hank Zipser's Christmas Catastrophe in 2016. They also captivated readers with a range of thrilling books, including the Here's Hank prequel books, the Ghost Buddy series, and Alien Superstar series. Regret Despite his immense talent, Henry Winkler faced a challenging hurdle in his career after Happy Days, as he struggled to break free from the iconic character of the Fonz, which had become deeply ingrained in people's minds. This made it difficult for him to land comedy roles, despite his undeniable comedic prowess. During a recent interview with Insider, Henry Winkler spilled the beans on his experience transitioning from his iconic role as the Fonz to his role as an art dealer in the 2022 film The French Dispatch. The actor revealed that diving into the world of comedy was no easy feat after spending a decade as the beloved character. Winkler's portrayal of the Fonz may have been a defining moment in his career, but it also left him feeling confined and limited. Surprisingly, Winkler revealed a tinge of remorse for declining the legendary part of Danny Zuko in the timeless classic Grease. It's hard to imagine a world where John Travolta isn't a Hollywood icon, but it almost happened. The role that launched his career was initially turned down by none other than Henry Winkler. In hindsight, Winkler admits it was a mistake to reject the role. In 79, Grease hit the big screen with a bang and a soundtrack so epic it soared to the second best-selling album of the year in the U.S. The film has secured its spot in the annals of musical cinema history. Although Grease could have been a game-changer for Winkler's career, the actor has continued to thrive and achieve great success. Barry, the Netflix series that has taken the world by storm, features the incomparable Winkler in a mesmerizing portrayal of Gene Cosano, a peculiar and offbeat acting instructor. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Henry Winkler? Let us know in the comments section below.